Hey guys, I am 17 weeks and 5 days. I think I'm gonna be 18 weeks on Saturday. Today is Thursday night. Today I started feeling shortness uh, or breath. I'm not sure if I'm actually starting to feel Braxton Hicks because just today is when I started having this shortness of breath. Since yesterday I've been thinking about not feeling the baby and I only felt the baby once on the same day of my gender reveal. That was because that night I got a really sugary drink and so that evening or I mean I would say like 5 a.m. in the morning, I don't know if it was, I think it was the effect of the sugar drink. But anyways, I felt the baby that day and it was the first time and last time. So I've been thinking about, well, like, I'm not sure if it, am I supposed to feel the baby at this point? I'm almost 18 weeks. So my husband, uh, he's, he, he works as a nurse at the emergency room. So he's used to, to use a lot of medical equipments and one of them is the Doppler to hear the heartbeat. And I had bought a Doppler before I got pregnant. My sister always recommended me to, to get a Doppler. She's a uh, obstetric nurse. She always liked having one. And she had one since her first pregnancy. So I never really got into buying one. This is my third pregnancy. And this is the first time I actually decided to buy one. Just, you know, just to get... Just to see if I would need it. And today is going to be the first time Daniel, he's going to... He's going to use the Doppler for me since he has more experience. And then we'll see if we can... If we're able to hear the heartbeat of the baby. So he's going to uh, show you right now. We're going to unbox the, 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 the Doppler, the baby Doppler. So you guys can see in details what comes in the box and how the product works and how to use the product. And then in the end, honest review about what I think of the Doppler. Hey guys, my uh, wife Zoella asked me to look at this Doppler that she uh, purchased. It's a Sonoline B baby Doppler. Um, and so I'm just going to have a quick look at it. Uh, I've, I've used, I think, three different models of uh, Dopplers at the uh, hospital. We use them mostly for auscultating fetal heart tones um, and then also occasionally with a different probe we'll use it for auscultating pulses when we think that it, that like pulses are may not be or may be really hard to find on somebody's extremity. Um, but let's have a look. Okay, you got some paperwork. And then looks like this is the Doppler itself. Uh, light, power button, and then menu. And it's got a large LCD screen, um, which tells me this is probably going to give me a heart rate. Some Dopplers just have the sound that you can hear, and then you have to you have to use your watch or a clock to determine a uh, a heart rate. The other ones that are a little bit nicer will display it for you, and it'll calculate the heart rate. And those are much nicer. Uh, so I think this one does that. Let's see here. Trying to hold the camera at the same time. So it's... All right. So there you go. Looks pretty nice. Let's see what kind of batteries it uses. Okay, it uses standard AA. So nothing fancy, nothing that you have to go back to the manufacturer to buy if you need more. And looks like a volume control there. That's nice. Okay. Now, this is our probe. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here's our Doppler probe. Doesn't tell us how many uh, megahertz it is, but uh, it'll be for. This is this is for OB. There's I think a three megahertz and a. Uh, I think five megahertz. One is for vascular use, the other is for OB use. Um, the plug end uh, appears to be a mini USB. I don't know if I can get it into focus. Okay, yeah, it's two, it looks like the, the manual says that it's two to three megahertz, which um, I don't really remember which one was vascular, what the megahertz are for vascular and for OB, uh, but I'm sure that the 
three megahertz is what we use at the hospital for OB. Now, this being a mini USB, I believe the model that we use at the hospital also uses a mini USB for their probes, uh, which means that this Doppler here, you should be able to, to buy different probes that'll be compatible with this, I'm guessing. Uh, so that's actually a pretty nice feature if that turns out to be the case. We'd have to contact the manufacturer to know for sure. But then this Doppler could double for um, a vascular Doppler as well, uh, if that's the case. So that's nice. Box also comes in with, looks like some ultrasound gel. Yeah, that's really important to have. If, you get, if you're trying to auscultate and you don't have a lot of gel, you end up getting a lot of static noise and it makes it really hard uh, to find the fetal heart tones. And if you're, you know, earlier on in the pregnancy, uh, sometimes it can be really difficult to auscultate fetal heart tones. Having good uh, ultrasound gel uh, makes it just a little bit easier. It's, I think it's probably not possible in most cases to auscultate without any. Oh, and then batteries are included. Here we go. Okay, I think that's it. This is just the packaging there. But I think that's pretty much all we need. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and put all this together and uh, then we'll try using it and see how easy I can, how easy we're able to find those fetal heart tones. All right, Mar, you ready? Mm -hmm. Try to find some heart tones? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see the belly. Okay, here, you grab the camera. It's 126, 125 beats, which I'm not sure if that's yours or it's possibly yours. I'm looking for a heartbeat 140s to 170s. There we go. That's that's baby right there. Where did we go? We found you. I think she moved. That's mama's heart rate right, right there. See, I found baby right here in just a second. I got 152 beats per minute, which is a good healthy heart rate for a baby. That's still mama. She is. She's moving away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I find her and then she moves away. Chasing her. She keeps moving away. Oh, this baby moves. There's no, uh, <laughs> you may not feel it, but she's moving. I'm chasing her with the Doppler. As you can see guys, it does display a, um, a heart rate for you, which is nice. Not even all of the uh, ultrasound or the um, Dopplers that we use in the hospital have that. Most of them do, but occasionally some of the older ones that are still in use uh, don't have that. You just have to, um, you have to count them yourself. And then this is three megahertz, as you can see there. I was wondering earlier what it was for OB. This is a three megahertz probe, um, and it looks like you can buy different, probably buy different probes for this, and use it for different things as well.
That's baby. We've got 146 beats per minute, 144 there. A minute ago, uh, I got in the 150s, which is a, a good, healthy heart rate. I don't know if the camera's picking up the sound um, very well, but uh, uh, but we can hear. Uh, but I can hear it really well. I don't know if the microphone is picking it up. That's baby. That's you. If, can you? I don't know if you guys can hear the the difference. I'm going to put the microphone near the uh, near the speaker here. That slower heart rate there is mama. That faster one is baby. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Baby. And mama. <laughs> Alright, well there you go. Don't worry, Amor, you may not be able to feel the baby right now, but we got a good, healthy heartbeat, which is good. <laughs> a very encouraging sign. Yes. And I think when we did our ultrasound, um, they said that your placenta was anterior, yes. which I've heard, and I don't know this for sure, that with an anterior placenta, many times you won't feel the baby move as much because uh, the extremities tend to be facing towards, your, uh, uh, towards the inside of your body. They're facing posteriorly. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have less nerve endings down in there and you'll feel less, um, at least in the earlier weeks probably. Um, but that may be one reason why you're not feeling them as much. All right. Feel better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So just to uh, give my opinion on the uh, Sonoline B baby Doppler, I was actually pretty impressed. Um, I was able to auscultate and hear really... Uh, really clearly. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, background static noise. Uh, and I was able to find the uh, fetal heart tones almost immediately, uh, which is nice. I like the fact that it uh, displays the heart rate for you. Um, and that's a, that's a really nice feature. And the set comes with a, it's, it's ready to go. Um, everything that you need to auscultate your baby's uh, heart sounds uh, come in the come in the box. There's nothing else that you need to buy. So that's convenient. It comes with the ba batteries are included. Ultrasound gel is included. The uh, probe, uh, OB probe uh, is included. So you're ready to go. Really all you need is a paper towel or something to clean up the ultrasound gel after you're done and you're uh, you're ready to go. Maybe with a little practice, I guess, but uh, we were lucky today and we found the uh, fetal heart tones uh, right away. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes we have to really uh, work at trying to find them. But uh, overall, I was impressed. I, li uh, I, I liked it. I think I liked it actually a little bit better than uh, some of the ones that I've used at the hospital. Um, I've not used the Son Sonoline B, um, or at least um, this particular model, uh, there at the hospital, but uh, I'd say it's probably a little bit better than what we uh, than what we use in the in the ER, um, at least in the ones that I've that I've worked in. So uh, you know, it's uh, under sixty dollars. So it's uh, I'd say it's a pretty good bargain um, for you get it for what you're getting. Uh, this is probably a a pretty good way to to spend your money if you're looking to invest in a uh, in a Doppler. We're going to leave a link um, in the description of this video. If you guys want to uh, purchase one for yourself, just uh, click on that link. That helps us out. It makes sure that you get the, the same Doppler that I reviewed uh, here in this video. Um, and if you enjoyed this, please give us a uh, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this first time of using our baby Doppler. So far, so good. It's been a good experience with the Doppler. And I feel relieved that like the baby is here. He's... Uh, she. Seems... She. I feel, I, feel, I feel relieved that she is 
seems to be doing good and her heart beat is healthy everything seems to be fine so she's moving that's <laughs> that's what it it matters all right guys i'm gonna close the vault this this video thank you so much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed bye bye